guys, it's Miranda from My Scrappy Life and welcome back to my channel. This is another process video for Scrap Madness, a video a day where Laura and I do a video each day for the month of March and have a guest designer. And the cut file I'm using is from Paige Evans. It's one of the sketch and stitch and I did the butterfly one. I did a chain stitch with the pink down the middle and then I did a black, regular black stitch for the outline of it. And then the blue was a stitch, just a regular back stitch. And I did kind of like an ombre effect on that. I started with the light pinks and mints in the bottom and then I worked my way up to dark. And that was what that looks like. The guest designer for Scrap Madness is Crafty Jen Scow. I will link everything down below, not only Laura's channel, but my channel and go check theirs out. It is awesome that Jen joined us. She is amazing scrapper. I love her, her style. It's very, it's very not me, but it's very me in the same respect that a lot of her layouts call to me every time I watch her channel. And of course, Laura's just amazing in itself. That's why she does these crazy things with me is because her and I are just crazy together. And so here I am, I'm mixing up all of my favorite colors from Shimmer's Paints. They're the Acritones that are no longer available to purchase. I got all of them when they first came out and I love them. And so what I'm doing here is, is that I'm adding white paint, white gesso paint and the blue together just to tone it down just a little bit. And it's all the colors. It's purple, it's pink, it's yellow. It's all of the colors that match the collection from Whimsical, which is Paige Evans. So I did a whole layout that dealt with Paige Evans through and through. My backing, everything. I will let you know that after I got done with this layout, I kept looking at it and I'm like, something is just missing. And I'm like, what can I do? And I'm like, I did do a, like a, border that's white around it just to add a little bit something more so you'll see that in the still shots at the end but I let this dry and there it is and I backed while I was letting that dry I backed this up with some foam tape here I am I'm gluing it away and I got out the Winds of Cold collection that is what I used for this whole collection and I did not want to take away from this particular cut file and of course you know the photos got to stick out too so I didn't do much embellishing I let the butterflies be my embellishments but I do put some on there and it this one only took me to do the sketch or the sketch and stitch I don't sketch it out at all because I don't need that I know pretty much where I need to be and where I need to go so I just did the stitching. This one took me about nine and a half, ten hours. And that's, I, you know, a stop, go, stop, go, stop, go type of thing. And the photo is of Heather and I of when we went to the expo. This is the last photo I need to do of the expo. And I am done with those amazing photos and that amazing time that we did together in July of 2018. I am completely done with that. That's what I loved about doing a video a day right now is, is it's allowing me to clean up all of my little um, projects and videos and whatever else I have left to, to do. Like these small little weekend adventures that didn't have much of uh, photos that I took. I'm glad I'm getting all of these done. And that is the six by six paper pad that I use there. And I'm, I do my distress and that's what I do there. And I place that right there. So I make sure that it's still very, you can still see it and it's very visible. The photograph is like, I think a little under four inches and it's three and a half by, I think actually it's three and a half by three and a half or three and a half by, or maybe it's four by three and a half. It's something like that. It's something, not. it's an oddball size. And I just put some dimensionals down so that it doesn't like fall per se on it. And that's all done. And once I put that down, then after that, it's all the embellishments and then that's it. And then I'm done. It's pretty much you watching me figure out where I want to put my embellishments at. And apparently, I couldn't get I couldn't get this down. Um, 
just remember as you're watching these guess what I do I've been filming since the middle of February and I'll probably be saying that from now until the end of March but the first week and a half, so the first seven to eight days worth outside of my bullet journaling for my weekly spreads, those are done in February. And then I'm voiceovering them like a couple days ahead of time just to make sure that they're done and ready to go. So I have to watch the video first to make sure, oh yeah, that's what I did. And oh yeah, I remember I did that <laughs> to some of these. But I'm trying to stay ahead so that I can feel comfortable and really give you guys good inspiration. So I hope you're enjoying this. Make sure you go check out um, Jen Scow. I will link her YouTube channel down below. Obviously, make sure you go check out Laura Alberts, what she decides to do for today as well. And like and subscribe, obviously. That's the whole game about this is to give you tons and tons of inspiration and tons and tons of people that you may not have thought to go check out. And now here's your chance. Check them out if you like it. Like and subscribe to them too. And here I am. I'm just placing down little things from the from the chipboard collection and I have to glue quite a bit of this down because of the thread and I don't add much underneath this I try to keep a lot of the embellishments a little bit smaller just so that one the butterflies stick out but then two you still see all of the splatters that I did for this background and I'm just placing little bits here and there I go between the stickers and the chipboards and everything back and forth and my title is on the is on the photograph. And that's what I leave it as. I really don't add much more for a title because I already know what it's about. It's already part of my um album anyway. So we'll know that this is the first day. And this is the first day. This is when I met up with Heather on Friday because she was already there Thursday night. So this was the first day I met her because I had to travel up because I had to work Thursday. And also my husband couldn't get off work to take care of KJ. So I had to make sure to get him, her to the bus and then that's when I left to get up there. And Alana, Duluth for me is only like three hours because Alana is like two and a half. So it's not that far for me to get there leaving early and then I place a bunch of butterflies everywhere because of course this is a butterfly layout and I do get out some sequence mix and I place them around too I think maybe I don't maybe I just stick with the butterflies we'll just kind of watch and talk and play at the same time and I'm just placing down these little bits I just place these butterflies just wherever I felt like a butterfly needed to go there was really no rhyme or reason to what I put down for it's the enamel dots on the page. That's what I'm doing. I knew I got something else out. Make sure that you um, check everybody else out. I do know that um, at the end you will see the still shots. I take, like I said, I take a white border from one of the pages and put them down as well. And I round out with the puffy stickers. I make sure that I just place little things here and there along the way. The still shots are obviously going to be coming up soon. And I hope that you really liked how this turned out. I always love when I stitch. I love hand stitching. It's one of my favorites. I'm glad I can incorporate something that my Nana taught me when I was growing up into now my scrapbook layouts. I love that um, people do it. Whether it's now or it's been forever or whatever the case may be. I just love that we incorporate those things. So we're just finishing up. You'll see little things that I'm doing. And then I will talk to you soon. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.